Hey there internet, you may notice I'm just using my webcam -y thing which means I don't have to use my hands and the reason is I have something really cool to show you that I found this week. Lurfer nerd -er nerd. Also, I've said this many, many times, but before I forget, once again, if you want to be involved in one of my videos, just send me a video of you saying life unedited in whatever voice you want, and I will put it right there during the intro at the beginning of my videos. I'm out of voices. I can only do so many. Help me out, please. Anyway, so, as I've said, I do construction this summer. Actually, today was my last day, so that's kind of sad, but that's irrelevant. We are currently working on this project, which is a really cool old house. Like, the original part of the house was built sometime around 1860, and it's been added on to and expanded and added on to and all of these different things. But, like, the original part of the house is still the super old, cool original part of the house. That is until we started to tear down at least part of it, because this family wants to totally redo the whole thing. It's a long story. They have an absurd amount of money and pretty much are spending it however they can. Anyway, there we are, digging a hole to build a new foundation and expand a large part of the house, and we start to find all of these cool old things. At first the only thing we really noticed were like broken bottles and we assumed that these were more construction workers who had done expansions on the house in more recent years had just thrown these bottles in the dirt. But as we kept breaking down and digging down we kept finding like more and more older things. We found these china plates, a ton of bottles, what may have been an urn with someone's ashes in it. I'm not kidding. I wish I had a picture to show you. It seriously A was the shape of an urn and B had this weird weird gray powdery stuff in it. I think it was a dead person. But we also found like this old tinker toy. I don't know if you ever played with these things when you were a kid, but it's wood. I don't know how it survived. Probably like 40 or 50 years old minimum. When I was working in a different part of the house tearing out a bathroom, I found a whole bunch of cool old Coke cans from like the 70s, which isn't, you know, quite as cool as the really old stuff in the dirt, but still pretty cool. It actually has real sugar in it in the ingredients, wherever they are. Who knew that they used to make Coke with sugar? Actually, most people knew that because they've re-released like old school coke and it tastes so much better than high fructose corn syrup i'm just saying anyway the thing that got me really 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 excited is this and this is just a piece of it but i don't know if you can tell it's an old page of comics like from the newspaper we also found this which is like a classifieds and stocks page from the newspaper that's really cool right? Because it's paper. Like, it was stuck in the dirt, just wadded up in a ball. I tried to unfold it as best as I could, and I didn't really have a ton of success. But it's like a window into the past, and unfortunately, I don't recognize... Actually, that's a lie. I recognize one thing, and if you've ever watched A Christmas Story, you know what this is. The Red Rider BB gun? This right here, Red Rider the comic, is what that was named after. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I wasn't entirely sure, like, what era this newspaper came from, but as I was looking through it, I found that one of the comics says copyright Chicago Tribune Syndicate 1945, which means it's either from 1945 or because the dispatch page says 1946 on it, I think it's possible that these comics were syndicated like a year later into the dispatch in 1946. Either way, it's a 70 year old piece of newspaper and it's intact and I can read it and that's really cool. And so I don't know, maybe you think I'm just a super nerd for finding this also cool, but it's been a fun week digging up and finding more and more things and I wanted to share that with you because that's what's going on in my life and that's what I would like this to be. So let me know down in the comment section what's the coolest old thing that you've ever found somewhere or do you think old stuff is just kind of dumb? I'm curious. Until next week, deuces.